While experts are struggling to extricate us from the EU, the Duchess of Cambridge's brother is deepening ties with our closest neighbour. I can disclose that James Middleton has moved in with his French girlfriend, Elise Thedner, in West London, and friends say they could soon seal their Entente Cordiale with a wedding. They started living together a few months ago and are going strong, confirms a close friend of James. Another pal tells me, he seems finally to have found the one. We all expect an engagement announcement before long. James, 32, who is considered to be one of the most eligible bachelors in Britain, met the 29-year-old city worker last year in a chance encounter, brokered by his dog. A friend revealed that Elise had no idea who James was when she struck up a conversation with him at the South Kensington Club after saying hello to his cocker spaniel Ella. The pal told this newspaper at the time, after Elise went back to her table, James asked the waiter to give her a note saying, I never normally do this but would you like to go for a drink with me? He also picked up the tab. A few weeks later, they went out for a drink together. Quote of the week being sensational in bed called the midwife star in Killing Eve scriptwriter Emerald Fennel on the thing she would most like to be remembered for. It wasn't until after they'd met for a drink that Elise realized who he was one of her friends had to tell her. They met thanks to Ella, the couple was spotted kissing during his New Year family getaway to the Caribbean island of St. Bart's in January. Miss Thevnet is a keen skier who speaks four languages, thanks to her time spent in countries including Chile, Indonesia and Belgium while growing up. She moved to Britain six years ago and has a master's degree in investment and finance from Queen Mary University of London. James split up with his on-off girlfriend, amiable actress Donna Eyre, at the beginning of 2018 after a five-year romance. The couple declined to comment. A pregnant Jane Austen, what would Mr. Darcy say? Jane Austen, who died childless aged 41, is to be played on stage by a heavily pregnant West End star. Olivia Award-winning Laura Michelle Kelly, below, is to portray the Pride and Prejudice novelist in the musical Austen's Pride, and was delighted when the producers told her she wouldn't have to give up the role even though she was expecting her first child. I'm hugely grateful to our wonderful producers who, instead of being put off or worried about hiring a pregnant lady, got excited and made me feel supported and encouraged, she says. The 38-year-old adds, it's amazing progress, compared with what women have had to experience in the past. The smart sets talking about Primrose Hill set Davinia's naked transformation as a store wet of the louche Primrose Hill set. Davinia Taylor's life was marked by debauched all-night parties. This week, she hailed a very different milestone. Celebrating 10 years sober, she told friends. which is incredible considering I was having withdrawal seizures when I tried to get clean all those years ago. The former Hollyoaks star, 41, was known as the Lou Roll heiress because her father, Alan Murphy, who's worth £190 million, owned a lavatory paper company. She previously spoke of her humiliation at losing custody of her son to her ex-husband, Dave Gardner, the best friend of David Beckham. To mark her sobriety this week, she posed nude explaining, We all enter this world naked, but seem to dress ourselves in false personas to protect our raw selves. Formerly a close chum of Kate Moss, the vineyard adds, intriguingly, It's not about putting just the drink down, it's about stepping away from toxic situations and people. Boris Johnson and his girlfriend, Carrie Simmons, arrived at Balmoral last night without the new puppy. Carrie wanted to take Dylan, but was advised it would not be a good idea, claims a royal source. The Queen's dogs would think lunch had arrived. What's more, Dylan might cause a stain on the Queen's sofa, surely. The royal furnishings are more than used to daily doggy wear and tear. Might as well face it, says Anthea fiancé's model ex Anthea Turner's engagement to socialite Mark Armstrong has won the blessing of his ex-wife.
I can reveal that he was previously married to fashion model Julie Pankhurst, who appeared in the video for Robert Palmer's 1986 hit Addicted to Love. Above and right, they were married for more than a decade and have a 15-year-old son. I wish them well, Julie tells me. But I don't want to comment further. Let's hope that former Blue Peter host Anthea's marriage isn't too lively. Mark, 54, below, with Anthea, who includes Sadie Frost among his ex-girlfriends, was handed a suspended jail term this year after biting a police officer while high on magic mushrooms. Cricket legend Shane Warne hit the headlines last weekend when he reportedly bowled over three maidens in a London news home. The Australian Spin King's festivities are, however, only just beginning. For Warren, who was once engaged to actress Elizabeth Hurley, turns 50 next week and is planning a pair of distinctive shin wigs, there's probably two parties I'll have, the one with some friends, and there will be the family PG-rated one, he says. I can't believe I'm 50, Warren, who has three children with his ex-wife Simone Callahan, insists he's probably the fittest, he's been for a long time an extremely single, form and orderly queue, ladies, with Tory grandees such as Kenneth Clark and Sir Nicholas Soames stripped of the whip, politics seems topsy-turvy these days, but David E. Cameron's biographer Sir Anthony Selden has found the perfect solution. He stands on his head for four minutes each morning and night, as well as during stressful situations, such as before his recent appearance on BBC Radio 4's Any Questions. The producer came in and saw me and we just carried on talking, reveals Sir Anthony, 66. I find it helps calm me down, lowers anxiety and helps me focus, the former headmaster of Wellington College tells me, I know it strikes some people as odd, but it's also odd to come on that show. And be really angry and tense, just be yourself, BBC star advises Meghan a BBC presenter has called on the Duchess of Sussex to throw out her hair straighteners and return to the curly locks of her youth. Carrie Grant, who has four children with soul singer David Grant, suggests that natural Meghan would be an inspiration to others. Do you know what I really, really want to see, and I can't believe I am going to share this, Carrie said on BBC Radio London. I want to see Meghan with her natural hair. I think people would be shocked. They all think she has that straight hair naturally. I want to see her so loved by everyone and so embraced, Carrie, who was a judge on BBC One's talent show Fame Academy, added, I have got four children, three girls with afros. All my wages go on products, sometimes it helps to have a fairy godmother. Harry Haddon Patton, who plays Lady Edith's husband, Bertie, in the new Downton Abbey film, says his godparent, Sarah, Duchess of York, was so keen to assist him when he was starting out that she once appeared in his college show. Sarah is very supportive, says Eaton educated Harry. There's one show I did, Return to the Forbidden Planet, and there's this voiceover. At Durham University in 2002, it was done by Sarah. She agreed to do that with an auto cue. His mother, Sarah, has been pals with Fergie since they worked together in a clothes shop as teenagers. When the actor's sister, Alice, married lifeguards officer Nicholas Van Cutsem in 2009, Princes William and Harry were among the wedding guests. Very modern manners, the imperious fashion magazine editor played by Meryl Streep in Hollywood hit film The Devil Wears Prada has nothing on the new boss of